Hello guys, welcome back to Sea Fashion Academy. Today I'll be teaching us how to make a straight dark post here. That is the sewing and the cutting. So I want you to make sure you watch the video to the end. Make sure you don't lose out anything. Make sure you like and make sure you subscribe. This gun does not really have any half length. It is together, so that means to be very interesting. Thanks and may God bless you. Okay guys, today so I'll be teaching us how to make a straight dark post here. But this, uh, for today's tutorial, is going to be a gun. You understand so for those that want to make a blouse or a peplum blouse uh you want to join your own from the half length please you have to stop at the half length do you understand but today what i'll be making is a a gown that means it's not going to have any half length do you understand there will be no half length of this particular dress so these are the measurements required we have the shoulder which is 14 inches we have the round bust which is 34 inches we have the under bust length which is 13 inches we have the round under bust which is 29 the bust point which is 10 inches the hip length which is 24 round hip 38 gown length 37 okay so we are going to be using this measurement now to draft a straight down bust here that is the gown so let's start first of all what you what do you have to do first of all the first thing you do is to fold your fabric shape that is what we normally do and we normally make use of the highest circumference okay now in this case the highest circumference as you can see is the hip round hip that is the 38 inches now since that inch is the highest circumference all you have to do is to divide by 4 so 38 divided by 4 is going to be giving us 9.5 so in this case i want you to add from 6 inches to 10 inches what do i mean by from 6 inches to 10 inches now we have 9.5 you can add extra 6 inches to it making it how many 15.5 do you understand okay or you can also increase please this is dependent on your highest circumference do you understand okay now remember what i've just said your highest circumference divided by 4 plus 6 to 10 but for the sake of this particular tutorial i'm going to be making use of the 6 do you understand so 9.5 plus 6 is going to give us 15.5 so that is what you fold now look at it doing the folding look at it all you have to do is to this is 15.5 are you seeing it all you have to do is to mark it out when you measure 15.5 you mark it out mark it out make sure you mark it out into different places in order to get a straight line now after you are done marking it out next thing you need to do is to connect next thing you need to do is to connect when you are done connecting the final thing you need to do on this folding stage is to do the folding itself do you understand now please i want you to know something remember i'm just making use of a paper that is not enough you'll be working with a fabric do you understand so that means your fabric is going to be enough so looking at this paper you see that it's not enough to do this too. that's the thing for by fold it for your front are you seeing it just fold it for your front but for the sake of this particular tutorial, I'm not going to be folding anything. But please, when you are drafting your own, make sure you fold. And also, the reason why I'm not going to be folding anything, I've said it, the first reason is because the paper is not enough. Then the second reason also is, even if I do it like this, it doesn't really matter because I'm still going to place it on the fabric and they cut out. Do you understand? Because this is a pattern paper I'm working with. Okay, so that's it. So after you are done, next thing you are going to be doing, you are going to be marking out what we call the vertical measurement. Do you understand? Mark out the vertical measurement. So we start from the, um, we start from the boss point. But before we mark the boss point, before we mark the boss point, please always remember you need. Sometimes I call it an invisible half here. This is like a shoulder allowance. Do you understand? Yes. For your shoulder, you know why I add this half inch here. Let's say example now your under boss length is thirteen inches like we have here. If you did not add this extra half inch at the upper side. When you finish, you know you are going to be coupling the shoulder part. Now, when you couple with half, your underbust length is no longer 13, rather what, 12.5. So, in other words, when you wear the clothes, it's possible that the bust will be hitting on your breast instead of relaxing at the underbust. You understand? So, that's how we need to mark out this half inch. So, now, from here, you are now going to be marking out the other measurements. That is the bust length, which is how many? 10 inches. So, mark it out into two in order to get a straight line, 10 inches. So the underboss length, which is 13 inches, make sure you also mark it out into two in order to get a straight line. Next is the hip line, which is 20. The hip line is 20. 
24 inches okay mark it out make sure you also mark it out into two in order to get a straight line 24 inches why the gown length is 37 are you seeing it make sure you also mark it out into two to get a straight line so when we are done are you seeing it so there's something else still remaining we need an allowance it can be from two inches to three inches depending on what you want to use as your allowance do you understand so in other words i'll be making use of two inches allowance okay now look at it what i have here is how many two two point five in total so what i need is two inches assuming you need two point five inches you can as well leave it like this do you understand okay so let me leave it like this so now look at it next thing you are going to be doing is Take your ruler and then connect. Okay, guys, are you seeing it? So that means we have the shoulder line, we have the bust length, we have the under bust length. We have the hip length and we have the down length and the allowance or hemming allowance, anything you want to call it. So when you are done marking out this um, vertical measurements, there is next thing we, we are going to be marking out now. And what is it? Who can tell me? Okay, we are going to marking out the boss part, not the round measurement. Not the round measurement. We are going to be marking out the boss part. I hope all of us know what boss part is. Do you know what boss part is? Yeah? What the is this? The bust. Oh. You go. <laughs> what is bust from now? The cup. The cup. So the bust part now, which is the nipple to nipple or the bust apart, whatever you want to call it. So for a bust of thirty-four inches, what should be the bust part? Seven, seven, seven inches. inches. Yeah, preferably seven inches. Now that's seven inches. Since we are folding our material into two in order to cut the front part, all we need to do is to seven divided by two. That is three point five. So you mark out your three point five, but always know that you shouldn't just mark out that three point five. Do you understand why? Because you need to add your extra half inch allowance. This is the sewing allowance. Do you understand what I mean? Like example, now if you are cutting with your fabric, after you are done cutting, when you join the cup. Yeah? At the end of the when you join the cup, your nipple to nipple or your bust pan shouldn't be shortened. You understand? So that's why instead of adding, instead of marking 3.5, you mark what? 4 inches. Do you understand? Okay, so let's mark it out. 4 inches. Make sure you mark it to reach at the damp part. 4 inches. Okay. I think I'll be doing this with another. I'll be doing it with another marker so as to help differentiate some things here. Okay, make sure you connect. Okay. I cannot use this, this is some very first case. Okay, guys, so as you can see, we are done marking out our measurement points and we are done marking out the bus pan. Are you seeing it? Mm -hmm. So now we are done with the bus pan. Who can tell me the next stage? The next step? Who can tell me the next step? Constructing the bus stand. That's very nice. The next step is constructing the bus stand. And in order to construct the bus stand, I told you guys that two things are really, really needed. Is that what you're having for me? Yeah, has it shown no battery? Mm -hmm. Why you know they check this thing is red? I'll check this. This is one of the things that I, I really want. Yeah, it's good. No, like it. No, they just leave them because the battery is there. As you said, it's thing just off, man. I know some phones, even if the battery is done, you get so fast your video in this place. Yeah. So, like I said, the next thing we are, we are going to be constructing the bus here. Okay? okay, so in order to construct the bus here, like I told you guys before, we construct bust here by with what two darts. Do you understand? The upper and the lower darts. Do you understand? Anything you want to construct. So first is bust here, whether princess that bust here, corset bust here, any bust here. 
it usually involves involves these two that that is the upper and the lower was that lower that so i say the upper that is usually situated at the shoulder line while the lower that is usually situated at the under boss line do you understand so we are going to be putting those two that's here now and in order to impute those two that we already have the that we are talking about in our book you understand what i'm saying we have it in our book if you open your book now where you have that you see for princess that boss there you see for thread that boss there do you understand? So for those that don't have it, I think I will try and put it in the description box. Okay, like I said, guys, we are going to be constructing the bus here. So we'll be working with that. Like, okay, so look at what we have here. Are you seeing it? For under, okay, this is called formation. Are you seeing it? Okay. Um, for a bus stop from 32 to 36, we use one inch. Are you seeing it? Okay. For bus stop 37 to 41, we use how many? 1.5 or 1.25 just depending on the person bus structure as you are looking at it so from a bus of 42 to 48 we use 1.5 for a bus of 49 to 60 we use 1.25 are you saying it okay now for this particular case we are working with a bus of 34 she that means it is in between this 32 to 36 that means we are going to be making use of one okay so now look at what i mean by one look at it so now let's start from the upper that you know we start from the upper before the lower okay so starting from the upper that look at it give this side its own portion of the that are you seeing it one are you seeing it now also give this side its own portion one are you seeing it okay now do the same thing at the under boss we are done with the upper that do the same thing at the other boss give this side one and give this side one as you can see it's very simple so that means combining both of them gives you two. So next thing we are going to be doing, as you see in it, we are going to be marking this thing out. Like we're going to be joining it to the um, boss point. Are you seeing it? This one also to the boss point. Then this one to the boss point and this one to the boss point. Now some persons who just take their room and join everything, at the end of the day now, you now have a pointed, um, it will now be pointed at the what, boss point. But for me, I don't do like that. The only place if I want to use a straight loop is at the upper that. I'm going to be connecting with a straight loop. Now look at it now. Are you seeing it? Okay. Then I connect this particular one. Okay. Then talking about this one, I'm not going to be using a straight loop. Rather, I'm going to be making use of my cuff. I can even make use of my free hand, my hand in particular. Or I can make use of a broomstick. Do you understand? Okay. Now, but before we cut with a with a broomstick or anything or any um, cuff set you are you want to use, there's something I want us to do. You know, we marked one here, marked one here. We are not done yet. We should also do the same thing here and a here. Okay. So let's do the same thing. <coughs> one and a one. one. Same thing to here. One and a one. Okay, so when we are done, look at what we are going to be doing. I mean, before we cut this side, look at what we are going to be doing. We are going to be connecting this one to this one to this to this particular one. Also, do the same thing here. Connect like this to this side. Are you seeing it? Okay, so now it's now time to connect the bust here okay guys you can see now look at it i'm sitting down here in order just to make sure i draft it very well okay now look at it you place your broomstick are you seeing a broomstick does wonders like really so all you have to do is to excuse me place your broomstick very well are you seeing it? from this point to this point and make sure you curve okay hold it for me okay now look at it I'm going to be using my marker to connect. As you can see, we have a very nice curve here. So we are going to do the same thing here. Okay, look at it here. From here, connect down to this particular point. As you can see, guys, we are getting a very fine bust here, sexy bust. Here. So let's continue. Next thing we are going to be doing now is we are going to be imputing the horizontal measurement. Okay, so in order to impute the horizontal measurement, we start from the let's start from the underboss first. So starting from the underboss, 
The round underboss, which is 29 inches, divided by 4 is going to be giving us 7 1 quarter. So measure out your 7 1 quarter. As you can see, 7 1 quarter. What else are we going to do? Okay, now next thing we are going to do, we are going to replace this. Are you seeing it? Which is this that? Because if you don't replace it, you are going to enter into a big trouble. So you replace it, which is how many? Two inches. So after replacing it, what next are we going to do? Allowance. We are going to impute our normal body allowance, which me I prefer you starting from three inches. You can increase it, you can even add more. Do you understand? Okay, look at it. Three inches. Okay, so now we now we have gotten this. Next thing we are going to do, let's uh mark out the the round hip. Okay, the round hip which is 38. Eight. Eight, that is divided by four is nine point five. So nine point five. Let's mark it out, 9.5. Also do the same thing. As you can see, the dart is running towards this side too. Make sure you place two inches and also the three inches allowance. Are you seeing it? Okay. Now, talking about this side, this side depends whether you're actually making a pencil gown, a straight flat gown, or a little A-line gown. Do you understand? So which one are we making? Pencil. Okay. We are making a pencil gun. So, so from here, take whatever you have at your hip. Are you seeing it? I usually have the simple method. What do we have now? We have 14.5. Okay, take it down here. 14.5. Okay. Are you seeing it? So now, from this point, are you seeing it? Please remember what I just done here. From here, just measure out everything, body allowance. Take it down. So that means we have like a straight line here. Are you seeing it? So next thing you are going to do from this point you've marked out now, step in by 1.5 inch. Do you understand? I usually say we should step in by one to two inches, depending on how fitted you want it to be at this very damn part. But the average that I normally use is how many? 1.5. Okay. So step down by 1.5. Please do the same thing at the damn part. Are you seeing it? Step down by 1.5. So as you can see, we have this point, we have this point, and we have this. Point. So what are we going to do? We are going to be connected. So in order to connect, okay? Now there's something I want to do, guys. As you can see, from this underboss, I'm kind of taking it straight. Are you seeing it? Okay, I will talk about this very part. So next thing I'll be doing now is connecting from here to here. But you can work with any curve you want. But for me, I'm going to be making use of my free hand at the moment. So let's connect. From here, connect very well, please. Make, it, let, let, make sure it's very, very nice. Are you seeing it? I've connected. Now from here back to oh, from here back to here. Are you seeing it? Okay. Are you seeing the shape? Very nice shape. Okay. So we've actually got seen the shape. Now for those that will ask, why didn't we impute the boss first. circumference? Okay, so let's impute the boss circumference. The boss circumference, which is 34 inches. That is 34 divided by 4 is actually 8.5. Are you seeing it? Now, do we need to add any 2 inches for the dart? No. We don't need to add any 2 inches. Do you understand? So all we need to do is just put the 3 inches. Yes, we don't need to add 2 inches because as you can see, it's only from here the dart starts. Are you seeing? From here we don't have anything. Here we have our dart. So all you need to do is to just impute these 3 inches. Okay. Now, are you guys noticing something? I taught you guys something on my princess that was there. The truth that is there is that, see, I have this uniform way of teaching. Whatever I'm creating, I try to make them look almost the same. Do you understand? So that if you understand the other of my class, other ones are very, very easy. So you finish up the cutting, as you can see. When you reach here, please carefully cut like this. As you can see, I'm done with this one. So do the same thing on the other part. Okay, guys, as you can see, look at it. Are you seeing it? Yeah. Okay, look at it. Please, it's very, very important you notch your underboss. Please, always do that. Take your scissors to notch it. Please. I noticed something. Why some persons are notching their clothes? They usually give a very deep mark like that please notch below half inch 
half inch because the only thing you can use on sew is half inch. Do you understand? Because if you notice, it's just half inch we added for our seam allowance. If you notch anything more than half inch, that means that when you sew, it's going to be like it's more like you're cutting out your material, your fabric. It's going to destroy your fabric. So look at it. Are you saying this is the front? So now we are going to use this front hmm, to cut out the back. Now let me tell you before we start cutting out the back. The only difference from this front and the back is the fact that it's having this cup. Are you seeing it? So the moment you silence this cup now, see, look at it. The moment you silence this cup, are you seeing it? Automatically, you've gotten your back. Look at it. The moment you silence this cup, you've actually gotten your back. You silence it very well. Okay. That's it. Are you seeing it? Okay, so all you have to do is to take this one place and then get your back. Just cut it off. Okay, let me just do it so that all of us will understand. So that as you can see, as you can see, while cutting the back, this is center front. So in order to cut the center back, all we need to do is to um, get our zip allowance. Are you, do you understand? Like two inches zip allowance. So we have to mark out with our... Are you seeing it? Mark it out till you reach at the very damn part and then take your ruler and then connect. So as you can see, look at it now. As you can see, you silence this part because the part is not supposed to have a bust. Do you understand? Silence this part also. So you are meant to just cut up. Okay, so let's do that. As you can see, look at it. So, in order for me to know which side now should be the upper part on the side, eh? there's something I do. I do something like this. This thing is trying to tell me that this part is going to be the armhole part. Do you understand? Okay, in order for me to do that on this particular one, to know the back part, okay, look at it. To know the upper part, look at it. It's more like you take this two. Are you seeing it? Notch. Just cut out something small. Are you seeing it? Now I've known the part that is the center, like I've known this part that we see. I can no longer misplace it. Okay, now look at it. As you can see, we are done. Now there are some things I normally do which you must not do while cutting. You can also do it while sewing. And that is called what? Now let's see. If this is uh, the underboss, do you understand? Now look at it. For me to add a little bit of effect from here, Stepping by half inch. Are you seeing it? Okay. So now let's say from from here to here is the allowance. Are you seeing it for the folding? So and let's say the slit of the dress is six inches. Are you seeing it? So we have this point and we have this point. Look at it. This half inch that you've marked here. Mark the same half inch here. Are you seeing it? Then when you are done, take your ruler and then connect. Okay. Extend it over to this side. Then this one is more like we're applying a dart. Do you understand? This effect is more like a dart. So in order for you to really work on it very look at it, I will gradually dart it. Okay, so guys, as you can see, we are done with this. So see what I need to let us know. See this thing I've just done now. It doesn't really matter whether you do it now or not. Because when I'm coupling, there's a the way I couple at the end of the day, I'll still get the back effect. Do you understand? Okay, but if we are to cut it out. This is what you do, just to at least physically show where your slit is and also the effect itself. Do you understand? Okay. So that's it. This is the front, this is the back. So what we are going to be doing now is, we are going to be um, coupling so that I can show you guys how to cut out the neck and the armhole. So for us to do that, please, I want you guys to remember that, look at this front part. I want you to know that this front part is supposed to be kind of expanded. What you have here is what you should have here. You guys knew what, as in, you guys know what I, I did here now. Do you understand? Yes, I did because of management and because we're also cutting with a pattern paper. So I'm going to try to find a way to show us um, how to do the padding, both for the center front and for the side front. Do you understand? So at the end of the day, now I'll teach us how to couple it. So guys, as you can see, like I said, we're using this in the form of our warden. Do you understand? That we are going to use as, as the pattern itself. So if you really want to see where I use a real pattern for pattern of bust here, especially Princess Dark Bust here, please make sure you watch my previous video of Princess Dark Bust here. So let's use this. So all you need to do is to, you need to cut this thing out. And we need to know how many inches I'm using here. So that means, look at it. 
First of all, I want you to know this one you folded out is that many four inches. So since you are cutting out the, um, your wording, you might not cut. You must not cut out exactly four inches, but you can cut out from four inches and above. Do you understand? Look at it. That is the width I folded. Are you seeing it? So what I'm using, I'm using almost five inches. So that means it's okay. So talking about the length itself, please the length of this particular person here now is how many? Eight inches. I think I. Do we have that in the chat anyway? Yes, I think I, I mentioned it the last time. Yes, Do you understand? Yes, yeah. In our princess, that bust here. Okay, now for different bust sizes, like now for a bigger bust, like instead of using eight, I can use nine. Right. Now there's a bust that I will still use what? 10 right. inches. Okay, but for like bust of 34 now, share. 32 to 36. 32 to 30 what? To 36. Whatever. Like what we have here now is bust of 34. So we are using eight yeah. inches. Bust of 35, eight inches. 36, eight inches. Do you understand? 30. Seven, even eight inches, you know, four to seven, you can actually use eight inches. You understand? So, I think I have the chart. Then, from 14 and above is when we increase to what nine inches, ten inches, depending. Okay, so that is it. What that is what I've used there is just do exactly the same thing as your second uh, wording. Do you understand? Now, one is for the center, while one is for the side. Okay, so let's work with the center. So, in order for us to work with the center, it's very simple. All you need to do is to take this, place it. Make sure you are placing it from the what? From the under bust. Are you saying it? Okay, place it very, very well because the, the way you place it determines how it will come out. So when you are done placing it, make sure you pin it. Make sure you pin it well. Okay, are you seeing it? So after you are done pinning it well, very simple. This thing is very sweet. Important. Now look at it. Take your scissors and they trim out according to the shape of this center front. It's as simple as that. Please, I want you to remember that everything is folded into two. Are you seeing it? This one is folded into two. Okay. Now look at it. So you can see about, I'm actually done with this one. So, in order for us to come it, open the wrong side of your fabric. Are you seeing it? Like this one is supposed to still be another one here. All you can do is to place it like this. Are you seeing it? From the underboard, then take your iron and iron your wording. Do you understand? And that is it for the center front. Okay, let's work on the side. Working on the side is as simple as A, B, C. See, we have our 8 inches here. Shea, all you need to do is to, first of all, try and fold it into two. Just to get the mark here. If you cannot fold your own into two, please, since this thing is 8 inches, take your tape and measure 4 inches. Get the point, get the half, middle part. Do you understand? So now look at it. It's as simple as A, B, C, two. So, um, okay, look at it. Let me from here mark out the four inches that I am using. Do you understand? I'm using four inches. Four inches is what I'm using. Let me mark it out. Are you seeing it? I've marked it out. So, now take this one. Are you seeing it? And place from the underboss. Take it and place. As you're placing it from the under, please always make sure. <coughs> are you seeing it? That four inches is very, very important to place it like this. So when you are done, take your pin and then hold it. Please, I want you to note, are you seeing what I'm just doing? From like this, place it from the under boss and make sure four inches is what I use. Some persons use more than this or edit something lesser. Please, what you use here determines how standing the cup will be. Not mostly on your body, but especially even without you wearing the dress. Do you understand? Okay, now look at it. Place it like this. Then take your pin and then hold it. Okay, take your pin and then hold it. Okay, so when you are done, you know what next do you do? See, we have this here. Some person just do their own like this and leave it. First of all, what I want you to do is to turn it this way so that you can see the SS from here. Are you seeing it? Then take your scissors and then trim it out according to the shape of this one you have here. Okay, so when you are, like I said, many people you leave their own like this. You understand? But me, I don't leave it like because I want you to have this really really kind of cup shape so all i do is look at it since i've divided the two orange are you seeing it so see what i will do from here i will come are you seeing it look at it who are mostly that do not understand what i just done now i just created a curve like this so if you want it to be simpler for you eh or you want to understand in another way or you can, I can also say from here to here can be how many from 1.5 to 2 inches. 2 inches especially. Are you seeing it? Look at what I'm saying. 
So when you are done, all you need to do is to cut it off this. Cut it off. Okay. Are you seeing it? Very nice shape. So that is how to work on this side. Okay. So now look at it, guys. We have the front. Do you understand? So we are going to be joining these two dance. So in order for you to join it, there's something I usually do. Please remember, we've actually uh, placed our this thing on this one. What is it called? Okay. Now look at it. Are you seeing it? This one is the warden. This is working as the warden from the underbust down to here. That I said you should iron. Okay, look at it now. So now, see, in order for us to couple it out, you understand now, look at it. Are you seeing it? It's like this, this is the front. So we should suppose to sew from here down here, then here, the same thing here. So, but before we do it, there's something I usually advise my students to do. I advise my students to, remember it's half inch that is our distance. So I advise them to always use that half inch. Measure it out and make sure you mark it out. The reason for you doing this is so that at least when you are sewing, you will not mistakenly use three quarter or another thing. Do you understand? So when I do it, do you know why I marked here instead of marking here? It's because when I'm sewing, I like placing this way. Do you understand? Why this particular one? Since I like placing this way, this is the side that I'm going to be marking my half inch. Do you understand? Okay. Look at it. When I place it like this, I will now sew from here. Are you seeing it? When I sew. Please, there's something I want you to do. I want you to always start from the underboss, so and go up. Then from the underboss, then down. Do you understand? Do the same thing again. So that's what we are going to do. The same thing goes to the um, back. Do you understand? Take this one away. The same thing goes to the back. Look at it. <coughs> Since you see, back is just very simple. Just start from the down. Are you seeing it? Just run straight. <laughs> then also do the other one like that. Okay, guys. Like, so as you can see, we are done sewing it out. Are you seeing it? So this is a very nice bust here, although it's a paper, so you shouldn't expect it to be like a normal material. Now look at it, are you seeing it? We joined this side, we actually joined this side. So we also did the same thing on the, um, the, the back, back part. Are you seeing it? This is one part of the back. Are you seeing it? We have actually joined it too. So all you need to do is to iron it out. The easiest way for you to iron it out, and the most professional way, is by opening it like this. Do you understand? Open like this and then iron out. Iron it out. This also do the same thing on the front part. Make sure you open like this and iron out. Then on this particular part, we don't just iron. We usually use uh, a ball shaped something to it. You understand? Look at it. We use it like this. Are you seeing? Because if you want to iron it ordinarily, it's not possible. So we also open here out. Can also notch here in order to make this place to be very okay. So you now iron. So when you are done. Next thing we are going to be doing now is we are going to be folding this thing into two like this. Are you seeing it? Fold it into two because we are going to be trimming. That is bringing out the neck shape and everything. The shoulder, everything. Look at it. Now take your pin and hold. Take your pin and hold. Are you seeing it? Take your pin and hold. Take your pin and hold. And please wipe folding it like this. There's something I want you to do which is very, very important. Make sure that year is corresponding to year. It is very, very important. How do you know if it, if it is corresponding? Look at when you place your hand like this, you'll be able to feel it that is corresponding to this one. Do you understand? That is very, very important to do that. So the same thing to this very part. Now look at it. As you can see, look at it. This is the back part. Remember this is supposed to be two. And not just two. Remember you're supposed to also have your lining. So do exactly the same thing that you are doing on this thing on the line. Exactly whatever you are doing here, do it on the line. So what you need to do on this front part is take your line, put it inside this particular, this front one. Do you understand? Put your lining inside the front one. And the same thing to this. Put your lining on top or at the back. Do you understand? Okay. Just like when you are placing two things together now. Look at it. Exactly as you have here is what you have on your lining. So take your lining, put it here, then pin it so that both of them will be equal. If you really want to know how I did this thing. Both the line and everything. Make sure you check out my pieces that was here. Um, cutting and sewing. Okay. So now look at this. When you are done, remember what I said. This is your material. Then another one should be your lining. Place two of them equally exactly together. The same thing to this particular one. So place it like this. 
Are you seeing it? Make sure that the two shapes correspond. Now move down a little. Okay, when you are done placing it like that, please make sure you place it very well. Make sure that the two shapes correspond. Please, you see this particular point? At this point is the part that like your work must come out correctly, like must come out very very. If not, you actually spoil the dress. As so you can see, we are done. So you can see this is a very nice bust here. So next thing we are going to do, let's impute the, the kind of neck that we want. Please, I don't know the kind, particular kind of neck you guys want. But either way, all I know is that any neck you want can actually apply it to you. So you say sweetheart. Okay, so let's work on sweetheart neck. So for yours to work on sweetheart neck, first of all, you need to get your neck width. You understand? The neck, you need to get your what? Neck width. Now, let's say now you mark your neck width. Sure. How many? This shoulder width. Hmm? Shoulder. Neck width is the, that is the shoulder, sorry, the shoulder measurement. Mark out your shoulder measurement, first of all. Okay, yes, Let, let's mark out our shoulder measurement, first of all. 14, 14, yeah? 14. 14, that is 7. Do you understand? We are supposed to add extra half inch allowance here. Okay, Which, whichever one. So let's say it's from here. Okay, there's something I really want you to see. Now, look something. Look at this thing very, very well. Here is seven, then the seven and a half is around this side. Are you seeing it? I want you to see this thing very, very well. It's very important. Then, look at here. If you place this thing very well, the seven and a half hmm, is here. Are you seeing it? The seven is here. Are you so that means if you finish cutting your neck. Your shoulder is going to do what? Expand. It must expand. So in other words, all you have to do is to do what? For me, I personally like measuring the shoulder from around this region. Do you understand? I like measuring the shoulder from around this region. Look at it. If I want to measure the shoulder, seven plus half should give me seven and a half, which is around this side. Are you saying it? So that is where my seven and a half for my shoulder is going to be. Are you seeing it? Okay, then for those that want to measure from here, you can actually use here and measure, but please, I want you to do one thing. Don't even add any seam allowance. Do you understand? It's as simple as measuring from here and adding seam allowance. Do you understand? Please, if you fail to do this, you will bear the consequences. Like, the shoulder is going to expand. Do you understand? Because, okay, let's continue. So, now we've gotten the shoulder. Let's land. That is the shoulder slope. Shoulder slope is usually how many? One inch. Okay? Then, standard neck width is how many? Three inches. So that means we are going to connect from here, here, down to this particular point. Are you seeing it? Okay. So in order to view the ammo length, ammo length is whatever your shoulder is, seven, seven and a half. Are you seeing it? Now look at it, seven and a half. So at the end of the video, we mark out the ammo itself. Now all of us know how I got this. Do you understand? It's by diagonally, look at it, measuring out how many? One inch. Okay. Look at it. Okay. Now, you see the armhole effect. If you have watched my previous videos, you notice I usually put armhole effect. I don't like doing it now to tell you the truth. I like working on the armhole effect when I'm ready to fix the sleeve. You understand? That's when I will cross check to know whether the armhole is what it's supposed to be. Then I will not clean everything. But if you still want to work on the armhole effect, now, I'll advise you to do this. Whatever you have here, seven and a half divided by two. That is three three quarter. Are you seeing it? So from here, step in by half inch to three quarter but for the sake of, for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to be using three quarter are you seeing it so next thing you need to do you have this point you have this point so all you need to do is to connect like this are you seeing the front part okay so now we are done with the ambu next thing we need to do is the neck we we agreed on um sweet mm -hmm. neck shape okay so for us to work on sweet art neck let's get the width now the width I'm going to use here is uh let me use how many is it five inches or four inches? 4. Yeah, four point five. Okay, so let's use four point five. Now why did I ask how many? Because it's your choice to target the width of your neck. Do you understand? Okay, so let me use four point five. Okay, so there's something else I still do. Sometimes, in order for me not to waste my time, I measure from shoulder down to here three inches or three point five. Do you understand? It just helps me. You understand something like that. Well, if you cannot do that, all you need to do is just put input any width you want. Like now, we are using what 4.5. Okay, now you've gotten 4.5. It's more like drawing a line like this. Do you understand? Okay, so the neck width, the neck depth. Now, how many inches are we going to be using? 
I'm going to be using, let me tell you because I love my color to be sexy. This is my girlfriend's plate. I want it to be sexy. So what I'm going to be doing now, look at it. I'm going to be using 8 inches. That means it's going to show a little bit of her cleavage. I don't care. I'll sign you. So now, look at it now. 8 inches is here. Are you seeing it? Okay. Now there's something I want you to, I want you guys to understand. Sweetheart is not fixed. Sweetheart just depends. See what sweetheart is all about. Let me show you the truth. Sweetheart is, I've thought this thing in my previous video. Look at sweetheart. If your neck block is this, see, if this is your neck block, are you seeing it? It's just normal round to neck. Sweetheart is just normal round neck or okay, neck, whichever thing what you want to call it. See, see it here. Are you seeing it? Now, it will now, see, this is normal round neck. Now, let's say I will extend it with extra here now. Now, you see, it's a normal round neck, then that you extend that to here. Are you seeing it? This is what sweetheart is. Normal round neck, then just cover it small and extend it to here. So let's say your normal neck depth is 5 inches. I want to make a sweetheart. Okay, let's say your normal neck depth, the neck depth you want to use, even whether with the sweetheart is 7 inches. All you can do is to do um, a normal round neck of how many? 5 inches or 6 inches. Now, when you curve your uh, neck, eh? now come to that one that made it 7. Just enter. That gives you your sweetheart. So what am I saying? Look at it here. See, I have this thing here. Are you seeing it? I have the full neck here now, eight inches. Do you understand? And there's no way I'm going to only step up by one because it's going to expose this part of her breast. I just want her to expose the cleavage part, really, not the this part. Do you understand? So what do I do? I step up by. Let me step up by two inches. Now look at it. If I step up by two, it means that the one for my round neck is this one. The one for my sweetheart is two inches. Are you seeing it? Very simple. So now look at it. Let me shape it out. This is, see, see my round neck. From here down to here. Are you seeing it? Now look at it. From here, I've done the round neck. Now in order to form the sweetheart, look at it. It's very simple. Look at it. See. Are you seeing it? As simple as ABC. Are you seeing? Is there anything confusing here, John? There's nothing confusing except your mind is not there. Okay, thank you very much. So look at it, it's as simple as that. Are you seeing it? Run neck, then extend. Yes, run neck, extend. Okay, that is it. So let's cut it out. Also, let's cut it out. Please, before you cut it out there, eh, just know that you always need to mark out your, like, you cannot use a scissors and do something like it because the neck width of the front and the back is exactly the same thing. So now let's cut out the front part. This coat is going to be very sexy. Are you seeing it? Okay, so see the... Okay, now remember the back. Okay, remember the back. This is where the next one. So now the part depends on what you want. Which one do you guys want? Open back. Yeah, Which kind of back? Is it V neck? V back. Shape yeah. that goes down. Yeah. Look at it. It's very, very simple. From this part now eh, to the point that you want the V to stop. If you want it to stop <laughs> after your front, no, if you want it to stop at the back of your bumper, no wahala. Then if you want it to stop at 7 inches, look at it. Are you seeing it? Mark 7 inches. Look at it. From here, Connect to the seven inches. Are you saying if you want it to stop at ten inches? Are you saying it from here? Connect to the ten inches. Are you saying it? So whichever one you want is as simple as that, guys. Okay. So as you can see, then talking about this side. So let's shape it out. When you are shaping, now you know when you are cutting both the front and the back, you don't need to cut out the armhole bed first. Look at it. You need to cut out with the original ammo first. Are you seeing it? So, if you notice that your this thing is not equal, eh? both of them are not equal, please use this opportunity, trimming stage, to do what? Cut so that both of them will be equal. Because it's usually sweet when you are cutting and both of them are equal. Okay, so now, for if you still want to affect your ammo, ammo effect, you can as well do it now. But well, remember what I said. I like doing mine when I'm done copying the clothes, when I'm ready to fix this thing. Okay, so look at it. So next thing I want you guys to do is, this one, you already know it. Your lining has to be shorter than the 
fabric itself the material except you are sewing in this way that you are not turning the damp part as you know this another english method of sewing that the lining and the material is separate except you are making it like fat either way the lining must be shorter than the fabric do you understand yeah. either way the lining must be shorter than the fabric but since i'm turning my lining with my uh material all i have to do is to reduce by from two inches and above please this is dependent on the allowance which you added on it if you added two inches allowance you can reduce two inches from your fabric do you understand whichever i think i've explained this thing exactly in my previous class like i explained it very well so that is it so when you are done now next thing you need to do is to release so let's see what we have now i think it should be very very fine so now talking about the coupling you guys know that there's nothing else here in coupling it do you understand if you can cut it to this extent coupling is not a problem when you've shortened your lining all you need to do is to first of all please see the secret in coupling when you are coupling is it that you sew the neck first or the down first or the down first or the, whichever one you sew first but make sure you sew both of them either one or two or two or one do you understand whichever then after you must have sewn both the neck and the damper that is when now you now sew the side do you understand that is how this is done do the same thing at the back then white coupling is very simple what i advise you to couple please you can still check my other videos on how i couple it's very very important this is see look at it white coupling as the material is still placed like this when you are done already um turning with lining place it back like this impute all your measurements do you understand impute all your measurements when you finish imputing all your measurements remember at this stage you are done coupling the lining it's just for you to couple the sides now next thing you need to do use your pin and pin it here then when you pin it those pins will come out here so thereby use your marker or use your chalk and the duplicate which at the end of the day open and expand then you now have the bag place one side of the bag here place one side of the bag here you see it sew this side then sew this side then what is the meaning is which one now the center back do you understand then that center back fold back your dress again when you fold back your dress again see what you'll be having i want to show you guys what it will look like it will look like something like this are you seeing it so all you have to do now you have to impute your measurement back again but as you're putting your measurement now it is no longer divided by four it is divided by two now why is it divided by two because it is no longer for like the football you've already coupled the two sides that means what you have now is you just folded everything together look at it impute your measurement whatever your measurement is divided by two you impute it whatever it is by the hip are you saying it you impute. so at the end of the day you should be able to have another shape at the back so couple it do you understand and that this method of coupling gives you the effect everywhere even the bomb bomb effect and everything do you understand so now you impute your slit and every other thing please this is how you do it so let's open this one out okay guys look at it are you seeing it the neck did not really like expand because i actually took precautions but if i did not measure my shoulder like that hmm, the way i did the neck will really 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 expand do you understand so that's why i want us to be very very careful while doing this particular stuff as you can see my neck did not expand my neck is exactly what it should be are you seeing because I know what I'm saying. If you did not do your own this method, that neck might increase. And when it increases, you know what happens. Let's say your neck increases like this. That means your neck is no longer normal neck. It's off shoulder. You understand? So that's why I don't want you guys to make this mistake. To be very, very bad when you make this mistake. You understand? Okay. So that's it. Look at it. So if you have any question, ask your question.